what is going on guys this is William Ekmos for you here and in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you how to make good thumbnails in Photoshop CC now I don't know how this is going to be on other Photoshop versions but I'm going to use Photoshop CC for this tutorial so basically you can get Photoshop CC you can buy it or you can just I'm not gonna advise to crack it but um so I'm just gonna get started now so all really you have to do is really simple to make good thumbnails in Photoshop. So all you have to do is open Photoshop. You'll get like a blank thing like this. Click on File, click on New, 1280, and you're gonna change the width to 1280 and the height, the height, the height from to like 720, and you're gonna change it to pixels, and you can just leave this like I have it, and just click OK. And once you clicked OK, you will see you have a layered here. This is background, so all you have to do is cl just click on the lock symbol here, and you will you can edit this background. Once you click here, all you have to do now is to put in. Um, I'm gonna leave like a link to this in the description, like the background. So all you have to do is put in like the background here. You will see it's inside here now, and click on here now. And just click place the file and once you've done that you're gonna take this thing inside here as well I'm gonna leave a link to both of those in the description once you've done that you can just take this like resize it to fit in the 1280 by 720 frame once you've done that all you have to do is take the uh, opacity down you can do it right here you can either just highlight like click on opacity and just take it down like this or you can just take this menu and take it down like this. Now you will see that the background, the other blue background we took in is too small. So not too small, it's kind of too small. So what you have to do is to make it big is click on control T and just change it so it fits. There we go. I just click here again and click place file. Once you've done that, you can take this up to like 80, the uh, opacity on the thing around the side. Take it around to 81. Now the background, you can take it to, you can take it down to, you don't really need it like that much. So take it around to like 20, 27, I took it on now, it looks pretty good. So what I like about this red thing around, you can, I'm just gonna show you now. So what you done that, you're gonna click on hue or shut. Sha. <laughs> you're gonna click on hue or saturation click on hue or saturation here and this is the cool thing look now we just change the color that's pretty cool so you can have a variety of colors on your thumbnails it'll look pretty good so what I like to have is this blue color it looks really good and yeah so once you've done that it looks already good but what I'm going to do now is put in the text so you're gonna click on the text tool and just type like for example uh win fee like that and the font uh is aldo the apache regular it's a really simple and cool font so once you've done that you're gonna highlight everything just highlight the text and you're gonna go down you know you don't really have to highlight the text but anyway just click on the layer down here once you've done that you can click on stroke change the position to outside and take this up to 8 well it really doesn't matter you can just take it like you want but once you've done that all you have to do now you don't really have to but I like to do this click on gradient overlay and once you're here change this to around like this one you can change whatever color you want actually but I like to have a like a silver look so I'm going to take this one. Click OK. And then you're going to take the opacity down. So it doesn't look horrible. Take it like 25 or 23 like that. Click OK. And now you're going to take take this tool right here. The move tool. And just take it like in the middle. And if you want to make sure you have it in the middle. Just highlight everything. And click on this one. And take it back again. And it will be in the middle. What I like to do is just put some random things inside it. So what you're going to do now is go on Google, search on PNG, for example, just search on PNG, and you can find lots of different things you can put inside your thumbnails. 
So for example, I'm just gonna do this quick. So I'm just gonna take this this smiley face right here. So what you're gonna do now is save picture as and save it to desktop. Once you've done that, you can go back to Photoshop and go to your desktop and take the PNG you just downloaded and put it inside the thumbnail. Once you've done that, you see you, you put your whatever PNG you have. I have the smiley face and you can just resize it a little bit so you can just put it wherever you like. So I'm just gonna like put it here for example. And once you've done that, you're pretty much done with the thumbnail. I know you can do like a lot of things. You can, for example, like you can see on this thumbnail right here that I put like some effort inside it. I put like some other stuff. Um, this is like a basic thumbnail tutorial. I'm not gonna do like a major thing. So this is like an easy way to get a good thumbnail on your YouTube channel. So yeah. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smack like button below. Let's try to hit 80 likes on this video. So yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, it's been waiting for you, and I'm out. Peace.